Hey, honey? Yeah, what's up? I'm Fen. I'm Laura. And this is Recipe Roulette, a cooking show where we... Do we want to do that again? No, we're going to keep rolling with it. Okay. <laughs> it's a cooking show where we choose a cookbook, open up to a page at random, and we make whatever it says. And tonight's cookbook is... Betty Crocker. And our recipe is... A... Veggie chicken vegetable salad. Veggie chicken Lots vegetable salad. Lots of veggies. Sa AKA fancy chicken salad. That's what we're calling it. Fancy chicken salad. Because we have made a few modifications to the ingredients. So let's go over and take a look at what we're cooking with tonight. So our ingredients tonight, we got a cup and a half of uh, cooked uh, veggie chicken two cups of cauliflower cut into little pieces, half a head of romaine lettuce, half a cup of sliced radish, one avocado, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, a third of a cup of plain yogurt, and on our spice plate tonight, we've got one tablespoon of uh, diced chives and a teaspoon each of dill, salt, and pepper. All right, chicken salad, pretty easy. Grab your chicken and a big bowl, toss that in, toss in your cauliflower. Make sure you don't leave any bits left behind. Toss in your radishes. Get in there. Give yourself about two. Oh, that's a fresh new thing of mayo. I totally forgot to take the lid off. So, if you haven't opened up your mayo yet, take your lid off your mayo. Put your lid back on your mayo. Give yourself. Yeah, that looks like two tablespoons. Get your yogurt out. Now, a little trick that I like to do is get it all mixed up before I put my spices into it. Because you don't want to have a big spice clump that's just like stuck in there somewhere. And if your chicken salad doesn't look like it's wet enough, you can add in yeah, this. It's looking kind of dry for chicken salad. I'm going to add in just a little bit more mayo. Just keep giving that a good stir until you got everything incorporated nicely. Spices kind of all swooshed together on my spice plate. I mean, there's a nice, good, even distribution, and I'm just gonna, you know, make it, make it snow. A little bit of spices here and there. Get them down in. We're not just plopping them right in one spot. Get my green onion. Shake that in and around. Gonna give this another good stir, get that, all that stuff incorporated, mixed around, so we get all those flavors. <clears throat> I am so happy that we had this recipe come up because I absolutely love the taste of dill. 
is one of my favorite non-hot and spicy seasonings and we haven't had a chance to pick up any for our spice collection yet this is our first recipe to call for dill I didn't want to buy dill just to just to be like have it on hand I'm like hmm I do like it but it's one of those things of like you know I didn't want to really go out and get it just to have it uh, now that I do, I'm definitely going to look for more ways to have it. Alright, that all incorporated. I'm going to move it over to the side. Grab a plate. Set that down there. This is where your lettuce comes in. We're going to take a couple of leaves. Make a nice little couple of lettuce boats for yeah, trade this one for this one. Got some nice pieces of lettuce here. Grab a spoon so I can spoon out some of this yummy chicken salad on each of these little lettuce boats. More like pontoons because they're nice and long. There. And voila, got some fancy chicken salad. I'm gonna put some rice on this plate and uh, we'll see you for the first bite. I know we said we were gonna use an avocado. I tried cutting into this and it's not ripe enough to be actually used yet so we're gonna save the avocado for a later day sorry i was really looking forward to some avocado all right everybody it is time for a first bite i'm gonna get a little bit of chicken and a little bit of cauliflower mm. radish mm -hmm. you weren't supposed to eat it like a wrap well you can, but that's very messy, and I don't want to do that on camera. Mm. Not bad. A little on the bland side. A little on the bland side. talking earlier this seemed like a fancy way to make chicken salad that you expect like some little old lady at church to bring in and all of these little lettuce boats for like the potluck afterwards on a special on a special Sunday they are very sweet yeah so I can understand why it would be a little bit more on the bland side for that because you don't want to like over spice something bringing it to a potluck it's true. But definitely, um, yeah, a little note. Go back through, or take your chicken salad, and definitely add uh, enough dill, salt, and pepper to season it to taste. Yeah. The avocado also would have been a great addition. Hmm. I was still thinking maybe some lemon juice in the dressing. That sounds like something for a recipe roulette reloaded. Mm -hmm. Maybe a future Friday featurette? Yeah, that's a great idea. We are bringing those back of, for season three. Yes. But speaking of the future, what are we doing next week? Um, I am going to summon a cookbook into my hand. Ah, oh. I summon the cookbook and I move you. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, or three? Two. Couscous and squash. Hmm. Sounds great. Oh, yeah, sounds good. All right. 
Join us next time for Couscous and Squash. Bye, everybody. Peace. Hey, everybody. Thanks for staying till the end of the episode. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook at Board Barista Productions. And if you want to support us, Patreon link at the bottom.